All right, guys. Well, I know it's been a while since uh, I've talked to you about this guy, the Moment Anamorphic Lens. So this weekend, I finally decided to uh, take it out and try it. So let's talk about it. All right, so first of all, of course, the reason it's taken me so long is that I had updated my phone, so my iPhone 7 Plus, to an iPhone 10R, And because of that, of course, the case that I had gotten, which was this one, it just didn't fit. So I had to order a new case. So that actually, let's be honest, was a little upsetting uh, with my first experience with Moment. The fact that that lens took way longer than expected and the day that it finally arrived was the day that I had updated my phone from the 7 Plus to the 10R and uh, I needed a new case and I had to wait another two to three weeks to get that case. Wasn't super happy. But is the lens good? Yeah, it's a, it's a good lens. You have to buy it with the right reasons, I think. So, review wise of the lens, is it a good lens? Yeah. Is the glass good? Yeah. Do I see any kind of lens softening or anything like that in the corners? Not really. Uh, I didn't see anything like that. You know, one of the big things, of course, is that you have to shoot with either their application, so the Moment camera app, or an app like Filmic. Luckily, I have both, and I did shoot with the moment app on the weekend but one of the biggest things i think you have to be aware of too is that i think a lot of people that maybe ordered this that possibly didn't really understand what an anamorphic lens was doing because we instantly just thought oh my gosh we're gonna get these crazy blue lens flares everywhere and they're just gonna look super cinematic and i'm gonna be the next jj abrams and whatever but really the whole anamorphic thing is being able to take advantage of your full sensor and with the squeeze get that widescreen directly out without actually having to crop the top and the bottom which means you and i are losing really vertical resolution because we have x amount of resolution and we just cut two bars off the top instead we get the whole thing we squeeze it we actually get better resolution which means more data and detail out of an anamorphic but the bonus again is these lens flares. So my hope was, when I took it out this week, was to see how easy it was to get these lens flares. So here's my little one or two minute clip of me and my wife going out on the weekend. It's not overly exciting, but enjoy. So as you can see, I did or was able to pull some of these lens flares out and they, they actually came out quite nicely. One of the things to be aware of it is that it was much harder for me to see the flaring on the iPhone screen. I saw them definitely more prominently when I was looking at them 
through my editor. So if you can see them really nice and strong on the screen, they should be really dominant. At least that was my experience. I also shot this in standard color profile on the Moment application, just so you guys know I wasn't in flat or log. I was using it in just standard because I, again, I wanted to see the blue flare so I could see what it was happening. But you do have to be aware that these flares are really caused by some excessively bright light coming into frame. If your camera is exposing for that light, then that flare kind of disappears a bit. You really want that light source to kind of blow itself out to get that flare because it needs that excessive light hitting it. In that case, when that happens, you get a lovely flare. So I really tried to set myself up in scenarios to get that. A lot of times I would shoot on an angle, so there's a lot of dark things, or I would shoot where it was darker and have something that had a strong light source kind of enter the shot so the camera didn't necessarily see it. And I'd get these flares shoot across, which was actually really nice. This is a short video for you guys because the real question is, is it worth it? You know, I, I don't know if I can answer that. Is it a cool lens to have in my kit? Yeah, for sure, because it's something that's really hard to produce later. Is it something that I would shoot with all the time? No, definitely not. It's not a lens that has enough for me added bonus that it's worth necessarily the investment. If iPhone videography and iPhone or Android phone was the way you shoot everything, for a hundred bucks or so, whatever it is, you get an anamorphic lens to add to your kit. I think it's a great investment. For those of us that shoot majority on mirrorless or DSLRs or something outside of that, it's cool, but I'm probably not gonna have it with me very often. Just be aware, um, it really depends on what kind of shooter you are. Also, the app does have a few little nuances in it. So when you go up to like 4K60 or you go up to 1080p, I think 120 or 240 frames per second, the app actually kicks in and says, if you record it in these frame rates, um, we're not gonna de-squeeze it for you, so you'll have to deal with that later. So kind of the point of shooting in their app. So I do think their app may need a bit more modifications in it just to get it up to par. And I had watched a few videos that said even the Android side of it, the app is even further behind than the iOS app. So again, you kind of have to be aware of that. If not, you're doing all this extra work inside your computer. Now, you and I, we just need to be honest with ourselves. Most of the time for a lot of us, especially if we're shooting with an iPhone, these videos are just going up on YouTube. So if we lose a little bit of resolution, does it really matter? Probably not. Are you and I gonna notice it? Are you gonna notice this video when it's in that letterbox format look any different than if I had just added letterbox bars? Probably not, I don't know. So which, which is, for me, honestly, the big reason was I wanted to get those flares. Shooting in that anamorphic format, kind of a bonus, but wasn't a huge thing for me. That's it guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Uh, I'm rambling a lot. If you do have any questions on it, you know, on the anamorphic on the moment, on the, on the phone cases, please leave a comment down below. If any of you guys are using the anamorphic and you have either positive or negative comments on it, leave it down below. I always like to have a discussion start because uh, I learn from it, you learn from it, and I like to hear people's opinions. All right, guys, that's it. The moment anamorphic lens. Mm, uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys think. All right, my friends, I'm gonna let you go. Have a good one. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. Later.